how is uh, kasi so far you've talked about yung ano yung, yung stability of the prices of rice uh, uh, what what about the other side yung yung farm gate prices ng rice kasi in that sense naman you would have yeah. to look at uh, whether farmers are able to uh, to so, make a living out of the soil uh, how how's it going for the farm gate prices naman uh, and uh, naka recover naman itong rice farmers this harvest season the harvest season started in uh, late march uh, mainly april now about 20% uh, remaining uh, itong uh, may uh, june harvest and you know the the palay farm gate prices are really even uh, beyond the farm gate price uh, put up by government it is reaching between 21 to 22 pesos per. Okay, uh, oh, those, those yeah. are good numbers, huh? Yeah, yeah very. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, they are getting uh, good prices this this time around. So nakabawi po sila. Uh-huh. Bakit nagkakanong? Bakit bakit ano? Bakit uh, nag-improve yung farm gate? Kasi well, wala na tayong lingering impact ng tarification. Well, nandyan pa rin, but uh, as we have always said before, na yung bird pains will be there. And hoping that this is now the, the, the time to, to, for the RTL to show its right uh, impact and where uh, farmers will now start to be more competitive, uh, farmers to also have to reduce their cost so that uh, at the end of this RTL, or I mean the, the six-year period for the rice tarification law that mm-hmm. the rice farmers in the country will be very competitive uh, having to produce a kilo of palay at the cost of six pesos per kilo. Mm-hmm.